Yes. So equal opportunities to it. respect the pace of the learner. Everybody cannot do it immediately. You will say, okay, I want this project by tomorrow. Maybe the brilliant ones will do. Okay. Then you'll have to be behind with some people. Some people will not submit in spite of reminders. You'll have to call up the parents. You have to send SMS n number of reminders and then only things will happen. So respect the pace of the learner, but get the work done. That is important. Not that the child is refusing to do and because of laziness, that should not happen. But uh, it, it should always be a case where um, the pace of the learner is appreciated. So you should give sufficient time, five days, 10 days, two weeks like that, okay, for one project. Ask open-ended questions, okay? I encourage them to write, talk, draw, create, okay? And uh, always original work of, of the child should be appreciated, okay? Not that uh, they have edited, they have Googled somewhere and done. Original work should be displayed and uh, always encouraged. And don't compare two children, they're always different and every child is unique, so that's there. So that is what, so artistic quality, we should not comment and do not arrive to the classroom with preconceived notions, that is very important. All the children should participate. So this book you should go through, actually, it is a very nice book, you will find a lot of ideas. I will also show you a second book. See, the teacher herself is participating. When the teacher participates, and then what happens, the joy of learning is, you know, increases many fold. So this is the role of teacher, they have given projects and so on. So what I will tell you to do is, this is for every subject, huh? Hindi, English, Hindi, everything they have given, okay? They have given now specific projects, pictorial sequence, assessment tools. Okay, these are now activities, class-wise activities are there. You can go through that, okay, class four, uh, what are the activities that can be done? If you have already done, fine. But if you have not done, you can go through this book. Uh, I will be circulating this to Sister Preeta. She can circulate to you. So all this, upper primary, class six English, all the subjects, all classes are given in this manual. Cla class seven science, okay? How this is the human respiratory system. So what is the target learning concept? What type of project can be given? What are the materials required? Okay, deep breathing. This is, you know, pranayam, you know, yoga. Uh, inhale, exhale, all that. So you are uh, incorporating the process of yoga that is also a sport, uh, mental health into science. Okay, and you are also teaching them uh, the respiratory system, which is so magnificent. So they should understand that everything is correlated. So this is the beauty of uh, our interdisciplinary approach. So in English, now this is an example. Okay, now if this is, uh, they are putting yoga, the passage of air, that is of course biology, when we talk about this, now the interdisciplinary approach, they have given example, like English language, there can be an interview, okay? M interview with Mr. Lungs, See how creative. You are taking an interview of a person called Mr. Lungs. Okay, so there is a conversation between Mr. Lungs and so interview, okay? So how do you feel when there is a lot of smoke? Okay, so Mr. Lungs will say, you know, it's very difficult for me because you know, the smoke gets filled inside me. So, so it's going to be a role play like that. So this is the interdisciplinary in maths, Okay, now identify, let's say, see here, the analysis of number of smokers in the family. They can, you can incorporate statistics. You can make histograms, bar graphs, frequency polygons, cumulative frequency curves. So all these can be included with a survey of uh, this. So this is how you incorporate. So children can be shown animation on this. So lots and lots of activities are there. If you, I go through this, it will take hours and hours. So in maths, there are 2D shapes, 3D shapes, you look around uh, the nature, you will find story narration with that, you know, narrate a story. So all this, this is maths, mind you, and, but you are narrating a story. So uh, you are incorporating English and maths. So same way you can incorporate a lot, then you can draw. So drawing is involved, art is involved, okay? And then you can also create dance forms, all those pyramids and all you have seen those dance forms, so pyramids, uh, prisms, formation, all that dance forms can be included. And then social science, all this is very given in this. So brainstorming activities, icebreakers are given, okay, with pictures. So it, it is a very good book released by NCRT. So this is the first book that I want to tell you about. And the second book, which I want to tell, which probably all of you have seen is released by CBSE. I am sure you have seen this booklet. You have seen this booklet. Uh, have you seen this booklet by CBSE? Yes, sir. Yes, I think this everyone has seen. 
this everyone has seen this also has got lots and lots of ideas this was released in 2019 and uh, this has got all the activities of art integration these are all ideas you can of course use your ideas to go about it but this is just going to give you some ideas on how to go about it so if you have not gone through this book this also i can forward very very uh, nice things about uh, mandala art like we are doing with sikkim okay i am from delhi so we do with sikkim so we have done about snowflakes the uh, sikkim bamboo patterns uh, you know the handicrafts that they use all subjects we have tried to incorporate all this okay now uh, let's say multidisciplinary approach how are we going to do i'll give you a simple uh, example uh, that is uh, for example let's say you are in class teaching in class 6 7 and you want to give a project uh, i will take the example of delhi sikkim but it is valid for everybody so what we did was uh, uh, thanks to neena my wife she is also taking uh, sessions on this so uh, uh, she gave a very good example that is how to incorporate this that is you are uh, uh, the geography teacher is telling them that okay the india map you draw you mark delhi and you mark sikkim on the map okay so you have a delhi map and you have a sikkim map now that is geography now the mathematics part you will say okay calculate what is the distance between them okay that's geography also you should know what is the geographical distance and then you introduce a maths question there that if suppose this guy was traveling on a car from this delhi to sikkim traveling this many kilometers at this speed what is the time taken okay it will come as part of physics also because we know that time is equal to distance upon speed you are using that suppose he is traveling by plane how much time will he take suppose he is going by bicycle how much time will he take so what is happening you are creating delhi to sikkim the geographical location you are uh, so the child is identifying acha delhi is here sikkim is there probably many of the delhi kids didn't know anything about sikkim so they are identifying now sikkim for the first place okay this is sikkim here so they know about it and then you are writing about their art the culture that they are having what are the now in maths when we do a project we say that don't color it just like that you use sikkim art to color it okay so they are finding out what is sikkim art what is the type of handicrafts that they use what are the bamboo patterns they use so they have got the specific pattern on their shawls and all that similarly i'm sure you will find in odisha any state will have specific patterns so you know there is a lot of snow in many parts of sikkim so if we uh, did that you know every snowflake has a different pattern so they studied about snowflakes different patterns then we introduced that in symmetry then they write reports in english and hindi so you see one project of delhi to sikkim of geography can be converted in geography you are learning about the culture of the place what is the delhi culture what are the you know uh, festivals here you are learning about sikkim well, that's the geography part then we introduced maths that you know calculate the distance if he is traveling for this and physics is also because the speed distance time concept comes and then you are writing the whole thing in english and hindi so that becomes an integrated project where four languages are taken so similarly you can think of various ways to integrate this okay so that is an example how to integrate one theme you have to take up a theme and integrate different subjects so here also in this this is by cbc the previous one i showed was by ncert here also you all everything that has to be done is explained okay so if you have not seen let me go to the last part of the book of course the main aim of all this see this is the uh, which is given according to state what is the dances festivals art forms traditional the traditional food everything is given so you can find out for your state of course you will be knowing that and you can also find out about your parent state so everything is given and of course Mr. Google is always there to get more information. So this is what they have given. See, for Maharashtra, they have given this: the dance form, the clothes they wear, everything. And uh, similarly, your pet state is Odisha. They have given information about Odisha also. So that's the information about the pet states. So once we do that, the next part is okay. This is all the art education. This is the manual that has been released. The objectives, approach, everything. so this all you can read through but i'm just going to the suggestions of the schools okay so okay so performing arts music vocal you know some uh, teachers music teachers think that you know this is not our job but singing can through singing we can incorporate so many things you can ask the children to make songs our children are you know very good at making their own songs 
so try to you know folk songs are there so if there is a folk song with the folk song you can uh, integrate some subject okay like in maths we uh, there is something called a pi song you know the those who are maths teachers they know the value of pi that it's a non terminating number which goes on and on and there is a song so people have made songs on that so you will find that you know the people come up with uh, very strange like in chemistry uh, all the i think all the elements which are there in the periodic table you can make a song on it similarly for any folk song tribal song all this can be incorporated in your studies just like you make poems they can make poems or they can make songs so that all that. and always as i told you photographs that is a big evidence for cbse that you have actually done it so if the student is doing in their home you tell them to send photographs of how they have done probably they are singing you can record that all this proof should be there because you know just writing will not happen it will not be sufficient so all this is there you can go through this culinary art now cooking okay cooking you can cook the food ask the child about to write the experience of cooking a food from odisha so the writing skills you can say that cook a food which is from odisha the child is making sharing the experience write them to write in both tell them to write in both languages english and hindi or whichever language or marathi or whichever languages you are having so that improves writing skills it also incorporates learning about that state so what a beautiful integration about that okay so why are we doing all this to make learning joyful otherwise the teacher always keeps on speaking and you get bored the children get bored so that is it provides a stimulus for learning so that is very important so i'm going fast because you have already done this portions so i will just share with you the last part yes so these are the techniques which uh, the cbsc suggests a uh, list of suggestive activities role play video making photography slide show ppt designing through photoshop and apps visit to historical places sketching sculpture clay modeling dance creator art reservoir with using waste material jewelry making paper quilling paper mash arts exhibition and so on so so many activity this is only again suggested activities you can be more creative and you can go on further in adding to the list okay this is what cbsc has given us right so uh, if you want to get more information about all this is given here okay so you can the nukkad nataks and all that so you know many schools are organizing online uh, this is the checklist for the teacher very important that while planning the activity this is the checklist that the activity has to be experiential learning the children should do it the if the student get opportunity for hands on experience it is done in collaboration they are engaged in constructing and demonstrating their understanding and not memorizing and they create something new that is very important and art form connects to other disciplines so it's important to show children that every art form can be connected okay when you are teaching about maths you get music music is connected to physics music is connected to maths isn't it when you talk about the frequency of sound the pitch of sound okay the loudness of sound the amplitude you are talking about physics okay then you are measuring that that's maths and there is a lot of research on that and then you can uh, give topics that you know there is a lot of research going on uh, uh, on the relation between maths and music and all that so this all connect you connection we can do so art forms connects connection is mutually reinforcing and not deliberate so the all the students should be familiar with the art form it's not that you know you are asking someone to create a project and asking him to dance and he has no clue so try to give the children projects which they can do okay and give time and age appropriate don't give very difficult things to small kids right so this is now uh, subject wise they have given okay examples they have given subject wise this is for english 6 7 8 9 examples what can be done grade 6 this is a poem given so what can be done how do you integrate drama theater with english teaching so all this you can what are the materials required and how do we go about it what is the activity ice breaker activity that is required okay teacher should start enacting the scene or there should be a role play or there should be puppetry what is going to be the methodology you can discuss and formulate so all these subject wise okay i will not be able to show you the whole thing you can you can download this from the website or i will give to sister who can further give it to you all you have youtube videos links to youtube videos are there the poem everything that you are doing in class you know many of you must have downloaded the diksha app a lot of stuff is already there also so a lot of youtube videos by ncrt 
is already uploaded here. So here, this is English. So right now I'm talking about English, class-wise it's going on, different topics, different ideas, but it's not necessary you have to take. And like this, you have for social science, math, science, and so on. That's what I wanted to tell you. So I think I have uh, more or less covered what I wanted to say. Now I will take the questions and if there is anything that you want to uh, you know, further understand from me, I'd be more than happy to answer those questions. Uh, I can send the questions to you. Okay, you have WhatsApp me? Okay. Uh, WhatsApp, you. your WhatsApp. I will just go through it, sister, one minute. Yeah, I've got, thank you. Okay, the first question, what is uh, art integrated? What is art integration? I think I've answered what is art integration is. You have to basically select art forms and integrate in your classroom. Whichever subject you're teaching, you could be any teacher, but you need to integrate any one art form, music, dance, clay modeling, role play, PPT, slideshow, anything, any one dance form into the classroom. So that is important because it becomes meaningful only if you integrate at least one. You can integrate more than one, but at least one, you should do that. Is it mandatory to integrate art form of a pair state in all activities or projects of each event, or should we do with one project of any one subject? Yeah, at least one should is mandatory, ma'am. Or sir, whoever has asked this question, it is mandatory for at least one. So I would suggest make two, three. Because you know, one is when they are specifying one, it is better that you do two to three activities, four activities, whatever, uh, with the paired state. And if you are giving more, then it's up to you. Because for uploading, they are saying minimum one. So at least two, three, you should have in hand uh, so that you are comfortable. So that uh, uh, if you are doing more than four, then you can do with any. But uh, the idea is to learn about the other state. So because you know, this is an opportunity given by CBST to learn about another. Otherwise, nobody knows about many of the states. So uh, that this is the problem. You know, we are so uh, involved with our own surroundings that the other state is forgotten. Plus five to eight, can we integrate all the five to subs in a single activity if yes, how? I think I've just now given an example of the Delhi Sikkim. Same way you can take Maharashtra and Odisha, uh, geographical on a map, Indian map, political map, you can ask the student to shade uh, Maharashtra and you can ask them to shade uh, Odisha and then uh, you can ask them, the social science teacher will ask them to find out about the culture, food, the dress, the festival, about these two and you know compare, make a, uh, you know what are the dance here, what are the dance there, like that. So that is a comparative social science. The maths teacher can, you know, as I told you, uh, uh, tell them to do the, calculate the distance or find out the distance between the two states. Okay. And uh, the science teacher can you know, do all the, uh, if the traveling, if they are traveling by car or you know, this uh, plane or by bullock cart or whatever, <laughs> whatever mode of transportation, just to help the child to learn uh, the concept of speed, distance and time. So when you increase the speed, the time is going to be less. That concept has to come. And then uh, you can do a lot of maths in that. You can draw histogram, bar graph, frequency, polygon. The English and Hindi teachers can ask the students to prepare a report on that, you know, how they go uh, this and a feedback that how they felt doing this project. What did you learn uh, about that stage? We earlier? So reflections are very important. The project is important. So anything with the child, ask the child to write a poem or uh, write a song or anything that they felt while doing the project. So those are all reflections that can be put in the end of the project so that, you know, all the subjects can be incorporated. Particular lesson with cultural trait of the pet state when there is no reference connectivity uh, given to the state. Okay, how is it possible to relate a particular lesson with the cultural trait of the when there is no reference given in the lesson? Okay, so uh, if suppose you are giving for maths and science, it's pretty easy. You can connect it because it's universal. So let's take uh, an example in English and Hindi. If I if I I suppose you are referring to that. So if suppose you are teaching one topic in English, okay, and it's a general topic. So what you can do is probably, you know, uh, find out, ask them to find out who are the writers uh, who write similar in similar fashion in that state. Who are the writers in that state? Okay, who are the people, who are the good writers of Odisha? And uh, who are the good writers of Maharashtra? And then in a lesson, what is the exact lesson? Uh, what you can do is, you know, earlier in English and Hindi, they used to make those portfolios, 
right? Even you can continue doing that portfolio. And then what you can do is that you they do coloring and do the this thing, no? Coloring and they cover it and all that. You can ask them to use Odisha art. So you can you know on the cover page there can be a Odisha uh, you know couple dancing to the this thing. Inside they can decorate with some Odisha handicraft. So all this can be done in there. So they not only uh, are doing the lesson. But they are also learning about the handicraft, the culture, the food, the dance forms of Odisha. So that is how we can pair it. What is the role of a teacher in this as a facilitator? What can the teacher do to improve the projects of the children? Okay, so the role of the teacher is just to guide them what has to be done, where they will get information. Okay, that is your job. You don't have to give any information. You just have to help them to find out where it is. and from different different sources so you can from wikipedia from google you can do a research and tell them okay these are the areas which you can find out this is only for reference now if you want you can try out other sources okay uh okay so what can be the teacher do to improve the projects of the children you can give your valuable fact the feedbacks but the cbse says no discriminative comments appreciate whatever is done if somebody is not doing work or somebody is uh, you know lagging behind and the, you know if you're doing group work and they then always encourage the child and give more material try to find out what is the problem by uh, you know how do you communicate i don't know by phone call or sms or whatsapp try to find out what is the problem and then facilitate get the work done that is important whether it is of very high quality or uh, medium that is depending on child to child because everybody cannot submit excellent work because all our children are you know unique they have their problems here and there so some may be very good artists they will give you excellent work some may not be so but appreciate the process as it is meant and appreciate the process not the product okay so that is there can you give some concrete examples of activities that can be conducted in various subjects i have given this booklets that are there ma'am uh, that i have shown the ncert and the cbse i will send to you if you have not got that you can download and lots of activities are given there already what is the marking criteria in the project now that marking criteria also is given in the cbc manual but you can devise your own but remember that it has to be full proof not that you are using uh, one uh, technique for one student and another it should, you nobody should question you how you have given the marks okay that's important so let's say the child has submitted the work you are going to judge on what on the on the content okay the content let's say you are giving two marks for the content out of five okay then uh, you are giving for the presentation how the child has presentation how the child has collaborated with the others that is peer assessment one what we call if the it is a group uh, work then peer uh, then somebody may say sir uh, there were five people only four of us did this person didn't contribute anything so the, you know the peer assessment is very poor that means that child will get low marks on their collaboration work so one mark he will lose because you will have to give him marks because in the project his name is there so you can use your own uh, methods to evaluate but it has to be uh, uniform for everyone and nobody should question you it has to be very pull through why you have given five marks to this student why four uh, then otherwise you know parents will have objection you know my uh, child did this but you have given only four the same work was given by another student you have given five so the cbsc also wants definite uh, markings under different heads so it is better that you plan out better that it, it's a uniform pattern throughout the school so that there is no confusion and every teacher doesn't decide on their own to give the pattern so if you decide on one pattern for the whole school that will be very good then which part of the activity is to be assigned more weightage is it the subject part or the art part has the art teacher to play any role with the making of the system so which part of the activity is to be assigned more weightage is it art or the subject Uh, it is a combination of both so subject is definitely important but the art form is also important so if it is only art and no content again no no point the content is important so if it is only content and no art form again no point so maybe you can split it to and a half to and a half the content has to be there and integration has to be there because only content we were doing all these years nothing new so the art integration means the child has to incorporate something into the project then only it becomes an art integrated okay. Otherwise, no. Then, uh, is the art integrating learning project a one-time single activity or a series that has to be carried throughout the year? Okay. So, as of now, because of COVID conditions, uh, you know, the, I'm sure the CBC is going to be a little relaxed, a little bit this year. But we don't know what is going to happen when the NEP comes in 2021 or 22. 
so there it's going to be a continuous feature right now they are saying at least one activity should be done that means you should be ready for at least two three okay if not more i would suggest two to three if not more what are the evidences to be preserved and for how long evidences means ma'am all the projects that the children are giving if you are collecting online then you have to make it into a pdf and and tell the children to take uh, photographs mm -hmm. and uh, voice recordings all that becomes your uh, evidences write reports tell the children to write report maybe if it's a group project uh, one student writes a report how they uh, who did what how did they collect the information all that and it's also good that a teacher also gives a report for one activity that this was the time when the activity was given this was the student response so many students gave on time so many you know uh, they needed help so um, so all the reports have to be uh, given um, uh, kept in the school and for 10th and 12th we have to upload up to class 9 and 11th it is only for school records whenever there is an inspection or something then all this can come into up otherwise uploading as of now is only for 10th and 12th so uh, in fact they are saying that they will not get the admit cards if you don't upload all these documents so the activity the child has to make and the school has to keep a record so you i don't know which platform are you using sister in your school for the classes are you you conducting classes on ms team zoom what what is that zoom zoom, zoom. okay zoom so Zoom doesn't have a facility to store, so you will have to think of you. Uh, where do you store all this? So you will have to tell the teachers to you know collect it on a drive or on a pen drive or how, and then probably you know when they come to school they will or they can mail to a person who can compile all this. It's very important that the document is. Sir, yeah, uh, we are collecting in physically. Ah, okay, collecting it, physically. It's not that, that's right. Not right. given the date. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Then it's no problem. Then the reports can go in a file. Class, class wise, you are putting class one, two, three, or uh, you are putting one to eight together. Individually, we have given. Ah, individually. Fine. Then it's very clear. Yes, yes. Okay. And this has to be preserved for a minimum of one year. It has to be preserved for a minimum of one year after the academic year. Okay. Don't throw away anything. Keep it for one year. Uh, at least then if ai project is uh, work is done in first term and the mark is allotted for the same what about the subject enrichment activity for the second term for each term an act a different activity has to be taken the same activity that you have given for term 1 cannot continue the same marks cannot be given for term 2 okay so suppose a student has not done in term 1 uh, then uh, it's not that term 2 he will not do so term 1 and subject enrichment should be different term two subject enrichment should be different so if he has done in the first term and mark is allotted for the same that is only valid for that term for the second term you should take another one not that one activity is done for the whole year and that goes on what about the conduction of asl as a subject enrichment activity for languages so if you are talking about uh, the asl that is only for english i guess and that should continue as an activity which so previous ones which you are already doing that is already being done by the schools nothing is discontinued that can go on now uh, if you you can take it as a multiple form of assessment asl can be a multiple assessment format so subject enrichment activity can be this so i think i have answered anything else any other questions excuse me sir uh, we are about to log out okay so we have to uh, log in back hello sir uh, So just log in back in case we log out. We have you have to log in back because we are we are finishing yes, one hour. Yes, sir. Yeah. It is uh, it is yeah. integrated. Hello, am I yes, audible? Sir. Ah yes. Uh, 